three weeks after they went missing, the rescued Thai soccer team boys have been told when they will be out of hospital and back with their families. Thai Health Minister Piyasakal Sakol Satedan has confirmed that the boys whose rescue from a flooded cave transfixed the world will be discharged from hospital as soon as possible. We need to prepare both the children and their families for the attention they will receive when they come out, he said. In a written statement, he confirmed that none of the 12 boys or their coach had dangerous infectious diseases, but stressed there were still areas of concern for their welfare. Because, because the patients are in recovery phase, they are more susceptible to having infectious diseases or pathogens transmitted to them. Secondly, to ensure that the patients recover from any possible mental disorders, the medical team and the psychiatrist recommend that they spend time with family and friends during the healing phase following the traumatic event for at least one month. Close quote. NEW video of the boys shows them speaking from their hospital beds, wearing face masks but looking healthy. The boys and their families have been advised to avoid all media exposure, because doing so may trigger post traumatic stress disorder symptoms, he said. Boys plan to honor diver WHO die.the news of their clean bill of health comes as one of the boys' father revealed how the Wild Boars team intend to honor the memory of the Navy SEAL diver who died during the rescue attempt. Banford Conkham, father of 13-year-old Duang Pachpromthit, told the Associated Press his son, better known by his nickname, Dom and the other rescue team members will enter the monkhood to pay tribute to Simon Coon and the former Thai Navy SEAL who died while diving to place essential supplies along the rescue route. Becoming a monk at a temple for at least a short period is a way of making merit in Thai Buddhist tradition. We are planning the date and will do it whenever all the families are all ready, said Banford. Dom's grandmother, Camilla Promthip, said she would tell Dom never to go near the cave or water again because she doesn't want anything to happen to him or for him to cause trouble to others again. I will tell Dom that he has to thank all the Thai people from all over the country and people from all over the world who were kind enough to come and help Dom. Without the Thai Navy, SEALs, the officials, and everyone who came and helped, Dom wouldn't be here today. He would not be seeing his grandma, and grandma wouldn't see his face again. From now on, Dom will have to be a good person. Close quote. Simon Kuhn and has also been honored in a royal decree from Thailand's King Mahavajiralongkorn. The king's decree promoted Saman to lieutenant commander, while honoring him with the royal decoration of Knight Grand Cross, first class, of the most exalted order of the White Elephant. Hero Divers Touching Facebook Post. Australian hero diver Dr. Richard Harris has penned an emotional account of how the Thai cave rescue mission became a reality. Dr. Harry Harris shared the touching Facebook post as he returned home after the miracle operation that involved experts from 13 countries across the world. Sitting at the back of an RAF C-17 aircraft with Australian authorities, Dr. Harris wrote of his musings with Perth-based Craig Chorlin, his right-hand man in the risky operation that saw the 12 cave-trapped boys and their soccer coach freed. I feel like it is the first opportunity to really stop and reflect on the extraordinary events of the past eight days since Greg and I were deployed as a small OSMAT team to the rescue in Chiang Rai in northern Thailand, Dr. Harris wrote. 
local and British divers who Dr. Harris described as the awesome foursome had already laid terrific groundwork to ensure the success of the grueling mission, he stated. They had already been doing the most extraordinary dives through the cave and laying the very robust rope which made all subsequent dives to the soccer team not only possible, but safe, he wrote. The efforts and skill of these guys in blazing this trail cannot be underestimated. The four Brits then did further supply dives to the soccer players, the coach and the four Thai Navy SEALs which allowed them to prepare and sustain themselves for the rescue ultimately. Close quote. Dr. Harris praised Thailand's efforts during the rescue mission and the huge assistance provided by the international community. They provided everything from catering, communications, media and of course their huge teams of workers filling the cave with tons and tons of equipment to try and lower the water and sustain the diving operations, he wrote on Facebook. I have never seen anything like it with man battling to control the natural forces of the monsoon waters. Close quote. H E said the Facebook post was a way of thanking all the people involved. I wanted to write this to try and give credit to all the people who were in some way involved. Craig and I have had a spotlight on our efforts and we want to make everyone realize that, while we might have become the face of this rescue for some reason, everyone should know that the role we played was no more or less important than all the many hundreds, perhaps thousands, of people I have mentioned, Dr. Harris wrote. Dr. Harris and Mr. Chawlin touched down with 20 Australians involved in the dangerous Tham Luang cave rescue. With them were six Australian Federal Police cave divers, one defence diver and a support crew member who was described as integral to the rescue operation. The Australian Defence Force flew the entire crew home on a RAF jet which left Thailand on Friday. Their return came as parents of the 12 boys, all members of the Wild Boars soccer team, made it clear they had no blame for the boys' junior coach, Ekapane Chantorangs. The boys are understood to have entered the cave as a part of a team ritual, where younger boys would carve their names onto the wall. Cave visit was meant to be an hour. They expected to be in the cave for only an hour when high water was suddenly upon them. I can vip Gruang, the mother of 11 year old Chanin Wipurung Gruang, the youngest in the group, said her son told her through a glass window at Chiang Rai Hospital that the first three nights were among the hardest. He was very hungry with such great pain in his stomach that he cried and drank water dripping along cave fissures, she said. Night was very cold, but the coach hugged him, teaching everyone meditation to prevent excessive breathing and to not feel hungry. Close quote. T H E, father of 14 year old Eckert Wang Suchun, said the coach dived into the water to see their circumstances once they became trapped and drew arrows on the cave wall so no one became lost. The coach also dug them into the muddy wall to keep warm and sleep. British diver, we aren't heroes. One parent said the boys were actually on higher ground than the small ledge where they were located, but came down when they saw someone coming. That was British cave diver John Volanthan, who found the boys nine days after they went missing. He spoke briefly as he departed Chiang Rai Airport, refusing to accept credit. We are not heroes, he said. What we do is very calculating, very calm. It's quite the opposite. We're just very happy that the boys are out and safe. 
we were very relieved that they were all alive, but I think at that point we realized the enormity of the situation, and that's perhaps why it took a while to get them all out. Close quote. Push for Aussies to get top honors. Thousands of people have called for Dr. Harris and Mr. Chorlan to be given the Cross of Valor, the nation's highest civilian bravery award. The last time it was given out was in 2003, when senior constable Timothy Britton entered a bombed Bali nightclub to rescue a badly injured woman, and then continued to search for survivors. The Cross of Valor has only been awarded to five Australians since it was established in 1975. Foreign Affairs Minister Julie Bishop has signalled the government is considering how to formally recognise the Australian team. Dr Harris and Dr Chorlan spoke out about the gruelling rescue mission for the first time on Thursday, sending a message of thanks for the support they had received. The favourable outcome that has been achieved is almost beyond our imagination, when we first became involved in this operation, they said. They also acknowledged the vast number of military and civilian participants who helped in the operation, along with their Australian colleagues. Dr. Harris is home to be with his family after his 88-year-old father tragically died just hours after the successful completion of the rescue. Members of the Thai Navy SEALs team arrived home to their base at Satahip, fated by the Thai people, but saddened by the loss of their colleague.